Hello everyone, this video I'm going to talk about how to log in Oracle Apex application using authentication type custom. Um, go to the page designer. Let's take a look at the authentication type. Go to the shared components, authentication schemas. We can see we currently use um, custom schema type. Open the custom auth and we can see the schema type we used the custom. Um, we usually uh, use the Oracle Apex accounts. Usually we use this this type, but uh, uh, sometimes there are many users saved in database uh, table and uh, they have different roles in the application. Uh, each role has their own uh, account to log in the application and execute the different functionality according to the roles and the privilege. Uh, let's get started. Go to the SQL Workshop and the Operator Browser. Mm. Let's mm, take a look at the uh, the user table. Mm. We can see the user ID, email, password, verification code, row ID columns. The other colors we don't care uh, in this application. Uh, so uh, user ID is uh, the primary key for this table. Email and password is the username and password to log in. Verification code is when you reset your um, password, you need to check the verification code. A uh, row ID, I have two rows in this application, <clears throat> administrator and the users. Uh, row ID is the foreign key to connect the, the rows table. Uh, you can see the data. I have two rows, administrator, user. You can assign um, the, the other rows in the table according to your requirements. But in this application, I just uh, have to. So go back to the application and uh, take a look at how it is taped. So I run the um, application and go to the Login page. In this page, I added two button, um, buttons. Uh, um, if you get password and uh, click the forget password uh, page. And uh, if you are new user and you have to uh, create a new account, uh, you can click the, this button. Go to the page designer and uh, see. Um, how it is designed. I added the two um, button here and uh, this button uh, click the redirect uh, click the two clicks um, link to the page three. You can see the page three. Uh, set up the that uh, uh, means the register a new account and uh, behavior action redirect to page in this application and the link to page two. So run this application. First, I will talk about uh, if I am a new user, how to register a new account. I click the this button. You can see uh, this page. And in this page has uh, three items, email, password, and confirm password. In this page, I will do uh, before, uh, uh, before submit, before register, I need to check the email is valid or not, and check the password, two passwords are equal or not. Go to the page designer and uh, take a look at the how it is achieved. Uh, uh, you can see the register form. The register form is from the table MTL and line user. And um, in this table, uh, there are uh, there are some columns here. And um, these items, I added a new items uh, item. Um, 
because uh, this column is not in the table, so I set the source as type now. And the other columns is from the table, so uh, you don't um, need to reset. Um, you can see the the column is from the table. Email, uh, email um, the item uh, email is from the column table 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 column. So the we can see the processing. Processing is uh, when the form submit, submit and uh, execute some PR cycle. And uh, in the, uh, here, over here, I uh, call the uh, procedure create account and uh, pass the parameter, uh, the items P2 online mail, P2 uh, online password to the procedure. And before uh, submit, before the processing, uh, we need to validation email. Validation email, I use the type of um, item matches regular expression. Um, about regarding the regarding the checking the email uh, format, I will discuss in my later video. Um, Validation password, I used the function um, body return boolean, PR cycle, and check the two passwords are equal or not. If, if they are equal, then uh, return true, uh, otherwise return false. Uh, if they return false, then the error message will display on the screen. Uh, in line with field and uh, in notification, and password should be equal to be password. So we run the application, and uh, I try to register. I used the uh, this email. This email doesn't exist in the table and uh, didn't uh, uh, haven't registered. So I use this email and uh, gave it a pass name. Yeah. Then yeah, I create. Okay, and and I use the administrator to sign in the application and see the uh, this email has already uh, here. So uh, uh, we need to so we we sign out the sign out the application and go to the. Uh, this register again and uh, we go to the page designer and uh, just uh, i i set the um the register to call the create account so we go to the procedure and uh, uh, take a look at how it is achieved go to the object browser and uh, uh, package uh, in this package, I have the uh, create account uh, procedure and uh, go to the body and uh, we can see the detail of the, of the procedure, how to achieve it, how to achieve it. So the P and email, P and password is a parameter from the screen. So um, the variable, I declare the variable message password message I need to uh, display the uh, debug message on the debugger console and uh, to trace the uh, to trace uh, the, the application um, to trace the application and help to um, to um, to to trace the flow of your code and identify the um, uh, potential issues. So um, first, uh, um, I I used the Apex debug message function um, to to display the debug message. And uh, first, uh, we um, we increase the um, password to md5. Then I check the username 
uh, is existed in the table. Um, that means uh, the check, the email address already registered. Uh, exception when no data bound, then display the message uh, email doesn't exist yet. Uh, this is very uh, if the uh, if the username doesn't exist in the table, so uh, next step we need to insert the username and password to the table. So the email, password, the, the, the parameter, draw ID, default is two. Two is the normal user. So return, uh, returning the user ID to variable, our user ID. Uh, LURL is, uh, I want to uh, this URL to refer to when I finish the, the register, I want to the uh, URL to uh, refer to other people. So I generated uh, um, to combine the variable to uh, um, to generate a URL. Then um, when finished the uh, when finished to insert the table, then update the uh, this tab uh, this column uh, URL refer URL. Then uh, finished the create the account. So uh, this is the register, uh, register a new account. Uh, once done, when finished the, the register, I will use the, um, the new Username and the password to, to to log in the application. Sign in. Okay. Because uh, this is the uh, user, so um, he just can see himself. Uh, uh, sign out. I we can see how to how to achieve the sign in. Function. So go to the page designer and login. We can see the login uh, is the authentication login uh, is the uh, username and password. And uh, go to the shared components and go to the authentication schemas and open the 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 the, the schema type. Custom and uh, we can see the authentication function name. I uh, we need to uh, put the uh, function custom authenticator uh, authenticated um, to here. So um, how to achieve the uh, the custom authenticator? We need go back to the uh, object browser package package and uh, see the the function custom authenticate. Uh, I input the username and password. If the if the um, if the pass, then uh, the login successfully. Uh, uh, otherwise, fail to um, to login. So uh, I um, pass the parameter from the screen username and password, and uh, declare the variable. Uh, password stored password pooling and uh, first to check to see the user in the user table and look up their password uh, yeah and uh, I input the input the the username and uh, select the password password uh, I in, First, I need to uh, increase the password from the parameter from the parameter uh, to MD5 and uh, compare the um, the password from the screen to the table um, to the to the password of the table. So if the L password is from the 
uh, screen, the, the users input the password. The store password is according to the user name to get the um, password on, in the table. If the two passwords are equal, so, um, so return true, otherwise uh, return false. Um, so uh, if you return true, then uh, successful login and uh, advice uh, fail to login. So go to the uh, up, remember the username sign. I use the pass use the username and password and sign in the application. Oh sorry. Okay, uh, successful. Just I, um, I have talked about the how to how to register new account and sign in um, to the Avogadro Pass application. Uh, now I will talk about uh, when you get the password, how to reset a new password. I um, click the Get Password button create um, linked to the reset password page then i import the email and uh, send the email you can see the password reset has been sent to your email box uh, please check your email box and click the link to reset password go to my uh, email box you can see the reset password. I have received the message here. Then uh, we can see the reset now. Reset now is linked to the reset uh, um, password page. So I click the link and uh, go to the reset password uh, page. And you can see the email and the verification code is um, I and reset as the display, just display, and uh, I can edit, I can type new um, password. Then a uh, reset password. Okay, I will use the new password to log in the page. Okay, that's right. So I sign out and uh, I will demonstrate to you how to achieve it. Uh, forget password linked to the page, uh, this page 3, I mm, input the, uh, the, the email, um, the email go to the page 3, okay. go to the page 3. I have the items, uh, user ID P3 and line user ID P3 email, email, P3 user ID, I set it as hidden. P3 email is the items in the page. So go to the process. Process, I call the uh, reset, uh, request to reset uh, password uh, procedure. How to achieve it? Let's go to the SQL workshop, update browser, and uh, take a look at the procedure and uh, um, and see how it is achieved. Then go to body request uh, reset request request to reset password uh, parameter is the is from the page uh, p and line email and uh, i declare the variable l and line id l and line verification and line code l and line url um, first i need to check to see the, if the user is in the user table is um, existed or not and uh, i use the oracle function to initialize the uh, the, some random code, uh, some random number uh, code. Mm. 
not number, not number. And then I need to convert uh, to string using the DMS and line render function of Oracle. L U R L. I combine the. I use the Oracle Apex uh, uh, fa function to combine the variables to generate the L U R L. This L U uh, and line U R L is for the um, reset link in the email box. So uh, once the verification is generated, then I need to uh, reset, uh, update the the table, um, and set the verification code uh, to the new to new code. Then I need to um, need to um, call the mail um, reset password and the parameter in the mail and reset the URL. Uh, to them as parameters to pass the to pass to the procedure. Then the mail reset password is um, is uh, send the email to the and uh, generate the uh, the email body. Uh, then using the email um, to send the email to the email box. The, and uh, because I um, pass the parameter email and the reset URL as the parameters to the procedure, and uh, uh, so I here the message included the URL, and uh, I just uh, using the here uh, here um, the, the the link the, to the to the page to the reset page, so. I use the Apex mail send, Apex mail push queue. So, um, once uh, um, that when I uh, reset, uh, when I uh, reset to the link reset page, uh, reset password page, then in that page uh, process, uh, go to the go to the application. We can see. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, here. Here. Uh, go to the. Go to reset the the mail. Reset password mail and the reset now. You can see the reset now. I click the reset now, and uh, linked to the page thirty one to reset password. And uh, uh, here I mm, I input the. Input the new password. Uh, go to the page 31, uh, page 39, and see how it is achieved. Um, we can see the reset uh, form, password, password form, and uh, have uh, uh, some items, uh, some items, and uh, these items I added a new item. The confirm password, confirm new password. So here I set it source as type and style. So process, process reset password. I in here I execute here execute PRC code. I call the reset password procedure. Go to the um, object browser. And see how it is to reset password. Reset password. Reset. Reset password. I here I import the uh, parameter p underline id. Now to use the name uh, here. And uh, declaration, uh, declare the URL and line username L hash a uh, password. And uh, I select um, get the username um, from the user ID and uh, P password. I uh, increase the uh, the password into. Uh, the variable uh, l and la hash password and uh, set the set the 
a new password, new hash password to the table, update the color of the table. So um, this procedure is done. This procedure is done. So um, go to the application and uh, see the page 30. I will demonstrate again that email and uh, go to the mailbox. You can see the message here, a reset link to the page, page 31, page 31. Then I uh, type new, new password. And the reset. Okay, uh, the three, uh, the three uh, functionality um, is um, are done. So um, I will in, just uh, I talked about a uh, get password. I um, I draw uh, a, a flow chart uh, over here. You can see. First, forget password button, click, then go to the page three, request and call the procedure request reset password. I import the parameter email from the page. Then uh, this procedure call the another procedure to, uh, to send the email and uh, put the parameter. Uh, P and line email and the URL is the um, is the is the reset link reset button link. So I uh, go to next step is uh, go to email box and uh, click reset link. Reset link is uh, link the URL is the parameter from uh, this uh, procedure. And this P in outline URL is generated from this procedure. Then uh, go to the email box, click reset link. Then go to the reset password page, P31. Uh, Process procedure, reset password, just uh, I talked about. So uh, in this page, in this page, there, is all, there are also uh, some validation. So go to the uh, validation email, validation verify code, validation password. So uh, go to the uh, page. Go to page uh, page thirty one. Can see validation 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 email just uh ah uh, uh, here I um, used the the regular expression to check the email format validation verify code and uh, you. Um, Call the uh, call the verify reset password and the validation password um, to compare the 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 new password and the confirm new password are you equal or not is you equal or not so uh, the uh, regarding the validation I will talk about in another video so this video um emphasize three modules, three uh, functionality, um, um, register new account, uh, sign in, and if 
if you forget your password, how to reset your password. Okay, today's video um, is done. If you have questions, please leave your comments below. Uh, I will respond to you as soon as possible. Thank you for your watching. If you're interested, hope you subscribe to my channel. See you next video. See you.